In one of the recent comment, someone was asking, Sir, my CV is not getting selected, so what to do? So today in this video, I'm gonna share you three CVs of my students, those who got selected in different companies, either those who got multiple interviews. Let's start from the first CV. So you can see initially in the beginning, the name is written, okay? And then after the role is written, statistical programmer, and then phone number, mail ID, LinkedIn detail, and location. And then objective, and then about the professional training. In the professional training, the base, advanced and clinical training things are written, what he or she have learned in the base part, then advanced part and then clinical part. You can see the information is written in a very simple way and then about the educational details, college or school name, pass out year and percent. Then about the certification, okay, which of the certification he or she did and then areas of expertise where she have written about teamwork, problem solving skill, good communication skill, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Azure and Adam, statistical analysis and modeling, and then about the languages. So you can see this CV is very simple and very precise and yet it got selected. Many of you create complex CV and you feel like that my CV will get selected. So guys, sometimes if our CV is not getting selected, so we create a very complex CV, but it should not be like this. A CV should be very simple and for fresher, it should be one or maximum two page. Now let's move to the second CV. Now guys, in this CV, you can see initially the name is written, then mail ID, phone number and LinkedIn detail and then address and then objective and then skills. In skills, few things about base as, then advanced as and then clinical as. Okay, and then he have mentioned some point on key competence like strong oral and verbal communication, willingness to learn, attentive to details, time management, decision making. And guys, these small things matters a lot in CV if you are mentioning. Now he have mentioned about the courses and certification, completed professional training in SAS and did six months of internship from Clinical Study Academy. And then about the project, okay, about the phase one, and project description and whatever things he have learned in the project that is mentioned over here and then finally the educational details where the college name is written and location and cgpa and then the details about languages and then hobbies and declaration so you can see guys this cv is of three pages but mostly for fresher what i suggest one or two page cv is enough. So guys in this CV which I'm sharing to you, you'll find a lot of alignment issues and the text are not written properly because what I did, I changed some details in this CVs, right? You can see I removed the name and I re-uploaded and downloaded. So what happened, this changes happened automatically. So when this CV was created initially by the student, these things are not there. Here the bullet points was there initially. But right now this box is coming because I did uploading and re-uploading and change some detail, right? So because of that. So you don't need to keep these uh, points or bullet points or symbols, right? These ones. So don't copy and paste it. Now guys, let's move to the third CV. So you can see at the top, the name is written that I have marked as green, okay, to maintain privacy. And then the role, statistical programmer. Then about the training, good knowledge of data management, some points, good knowledge of import export, some points, good knowledge of statistical analysis, and again, some topics, then advanced has, and then clinical has. So you can see in a very simple way, whatever he have learned, he have mentioned in a small space. A lot of people take a lot of spaces to mention these things only. And guys, I'm repeating again, these CVs I'm sharing, these are not the final CVs, okay? After reading the CVs, I have given some feedback to the student and to make those changes. Okay, and then they did final changes and then they have shared to the HR. So don't copy and paste exactly the same. Okay, I'm repeating. And then you can see educational history and the educational details and then about the certification in the right hand side. Now let's go to the left hand side part where he have written personal profile and mentioned few things about himself. Then area of expertise, then strengths and then reach me at. So his phone number, his mail ID, LinkedIn, location and then about languages. So guys, you can see this CV which I shared to you. These were very simple, okay? And in the CV where we have seen three pages, in that CV, the project part was taking too much space. Because of that, it took more space. So guys, even if you're creating two or three pages CV, that is totally fine as in fresher, but always remember you should have the valid points and precise point. It should not be like you are just pulling out the information without any reason. 
it should be precise and on point so guys that's all in today's video if you have any more questions you can ask me in the comments and if you want to connect me you can connect me through one-to-one -one counseling by checking the link in the description thank you everyone and bye bye everyone